You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak, and the program is called Morning Light, brought to you by our friends at Photo Central, a classical snapshot for your weekday mornings. And joining me this morning is Photo Central's Andrew Taves. Hey there, Andrew. Morning, Simon. Well, it's great to see you, as always. When we uh, last spoke, um, everyone was on the hunt for webcams and ring lights and microphones as people made the transition to working online. Since then, things have, of course, uh, have changed. I'm, I'm wondering, what's the year been like thus far at Photo Central? Different. Different, definitely. Uh, we, we've been facing a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of challenges, as I'm sure everybody uh, can guess. But it's been a good year. It's been a good year. We've, we've transitioned away from some of those early COVID demands, uh, mm-hmm. definitely. Uh, I think most of the, uh, the people needing equipment at home for their Zoom have their equipment. Uh, so so that's, uh, that's all well and good. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it's been, I'm not going to say business as usual, but we can do what we want to do as a store. Uh, supply chain issues are continue to be a problem. I'll just throw that out right now. Anyone who wants something even a month or two down the road, let us know. Let us know. Uh, I just sold a lens to a gentleman last week. He ordered it last June. Oh, good. We finally got it for him. (laughs) We have supply of a lot of things right now, but that's because the stuff I over ordered last July and August is now showing up. Uh, so if we run out, it's still a bit of a challenge, but otherwise things, things have been good. Uh, the lab continues to print like crazy and, uh, people have, uh, been getting out and we're seeing art projects and galleries being printed again, uh, which is great because that means galleries are being shown. People can actually get out and about and see artwork, uh, in Winnipeg, which is so nice to see. So nice to hear about. And uh, people are starting to travel. We're starting to see travel pictures coming back. We're starting to see equipment going out for travel again. And that had really dried up. And we're starting to see wedding photographers and event <laughs> photographers again, which we haven't seen for a long, long time. So it's, it's been good. Yeah, lots to celebrate. Like you say, not without challenges. Um, who knew bikes and camera gear would have such a, t- such a tough time uh, arriving. But hey, supply chain uh, seems to be affecting everything. Uh, speaking of, of camera gear, um, there's always new gear, new cameras, new lenses for um, amateurs or, or professionals to consider. Anything camera-wise you're really excited about these days at the store? Right now, it's really the big switch, and I'm going to try to not sound too techy uh, for the the audience at large, but we're seeing a big switch to what we call mirrorless cameras. And the COVID situation, supply chain issues have accelerated this switch, which has been challenging for some people because getting equipment for the older systems has been the biggest challenge through all of this. But the switch over is is. Uh, driving an industry that uh, that could that can use it, and it's been a revelation for a lot of people. There's stuff that we can do now photographically that we've never been able to do before, and uh, the technology has has come a long, long way in the last couple of years. So every time right now that we see a new camera announced, we're seeing new things that it can do. And that hadn't been the case for a while. For a while, we're in that upgrade game where companies were trying to convince you that something new was better, but really there wasn't much of a, of a benefit to, to getting something new. Uh, right now, we are seeing a lot of new changes and, and it's making things easier for people, uh, more accessible for a lot of people of, of all ages and all backgrounds and experience levels. Um, I'm, I'm still a, a photographic dinosaur. I still got mirrors in my cameras. Um, and again, without getting too technical, you know, those mirrorless cameras, just smaller, lighter, more portable. And as people maybe get traveling again, like you say, it just saves a little space in the bag. Um, and, and, and then the, the other sort of flip side of this, what is old is new again, film seeing a, a resurgence in, in recent years too. That, is that right? Film is exploding. Right it is now. back. Actually, it is it, back. It, yeah, we actually just had to change our store around because I'm, I now have more film than I did 10 years ago. That's incredible. Uh, at least more varieties. And I'm getting everything I can. And we actually needed more space for it. For the first time since we moved into our current location, I've had to expand the film section. Uh, when 
when we moved in, I thought, how much longer am I going to need a film section? Uh, and, but yeah, it, it's popular. And, and mostly with the younger generations. They, they're, they're tired of looking at screens. They want to see something. They want to go and do something a little more tactile, um, perhaps a little less predictable. Uh, they like playing with the old cameras. And uh, it's, it's fun. These are the people probably having the most fun of anybody are, are the film shooters right now. And we can take care of all the, the developing process and the reprinting process. Uh, or also just bringing out the old negatives that people are finding in their parents' or grandparents' uh, uh, closets and wanting to bring life to them again. That's something that we do every day, and we're happy to do it. Yeah, and whether you know people are shooting film or shooting digitally, um, I also want to take a moment to remind people that they should print their images. Images shouldn't live on hard drives, right, Andrew? No, because they don't live on hard drives. As far as I'm concerned, if it's on a hard drive, it's dead. I mean, we... <laughs> You know, I, I own a camera store. We have a lab and we still in my family complain, hey, we don't have enough pictures of the family on the wall. And, and uh, you know, it's great that we've taken all these pictures, but we never look at them. Uh, you know, we look at pictures on a wall. We look at pictures in a photo album and uh, and kids, especially you show them a phone and they, they just don't. They're not interested it'd be so often you show them a photo album even of pictures of people they don't know and they're they're amazed uh, there is something uh so much more i don't know if you want to call it wholesome but certainly more engaging about a, a tactile print and uh and it it just brings we see joy we see tears we see everything when people are picking up prints and it, it's so nice to see uh, I just picked up some prints myself. And uh, like you say, I mean, you can make a photo wall, um, you can make a photo album, you can do fine art prints, you can do canvas prints, or even like mugs and all sorts of photo gifts and and and, and photo puzzles. Um, I actually did one over the pandemic, which was a ton of fun too. So uh, all sorts of different options. Now, the last thing I want to ask you, Andrew, it, any special events or goings on at Photo Central that you want to draw uh, attention to while I got you on the line? Sure. Uh, there's a couple. We for the people who have a lot of photographic gear that maybe want to do an upgrade, maybe want to just clear out a basement, uh, we can't purchase equipment from uh, the public directly. We do take trades uh, for used equipment, uh, but we can't purchase directly. However, a couple times a year, we host a company that does buy directly. And we have that company called KEH Camera. They're coming in April 29th and 30th. And they set up shop in the corner of our store and they will look at what you have and, and can take it off your hands. And uh, it's always a well-attended event and people are always very, very happy with that. So that gives you an opportunity to clean house a little bit. But also I just wanna say that we are in plan, have plans to no more COVID booms willing, uh, get our guest speaker series and some courses going again. So just stay tuned for that. We don't have dates or specifics worked out just yet, but those things are coming, definitely. Well, lots to look forward to. And uh, you really don't need a reason to wander through Photo Central. Uh, always something to take a gander at. Staff, super knowledgeable. Andrew, always a pleasure catching up with you. Likewise, Simon. Thank you very much. And you can visit Photo Central in person at 957 Portage Avenue. That's just west of Arlington Street or online at photocentral.ca.